So this is how to calculate binding energy. So we're calculating binding energy for the element of titanium. So right here, I have the notation there, titanium 4822. So in that notation, the 48 is the total number of particles you have in the nucleus, and the 22 is the number of protons. So then you're going to need the number of neutrons. So to calculate the number of neutrons, you're just going to take 48 minus 22, and that gives you 26 neutrons. Our value right here for the atomic mass, got that from Googling a periodic table and looking that up. So when we want to calculate binding energy, we're going to use E equals mc squared. That mass is the mass defect which is the difference between when the particles are separate and when they are combined in the nucleus. So to get the particles separate, we're going to take the mass of 22 protons and the mass of 26 neutrons from the table we used on all the worksheets, and I would give you these values. Right there, that's the mass of a proton, and right here, that's the mass of a neutron. So 22 of the proton, 26 of the neutron. And then from that total mass of all the particles, you're subtracting the mass of the atom, which is right there. And that came from the periodic table. So do that calculation. We arrive at the mass defect of 0.4253 atomic mass units. Convert that into kilograms. One atomic mass unit is 1.66 times 10 to the negative 27th kilograms. So then when we multiply that, we get 7.05 times 10 to the negative 28th kilograms, and then multiply that by the speed of light squared, and that gives us the binding energy is 6.35 times 10 to the negative 11th joules. So rest energy is using the entire mass of the object, in E equals mc squared, making sure that mass is in kilograms. Binding energy is using for the mass, the difference of the mass of the separate particles, subtracting the mass of the atom in E equals mc squared. And then the energy released in a fission-fusion reaction would be the difference in the mass between one side of the equation and the other side of the equation, converted into kilograms, and plugged into E equals MC squared. Ponder.